working with this uh, CB350 twin cam holder. Um, this piece has been used and abused quite a bit, uh, but the, the purpose of this video today is to uh, answer a, a frequently asked question that we get about threads. Uh, particularly, will it damage threads? Number one, and number two, will it hard pack in blind holes or threaded holes? And we're going to particularly work in this area right here uh, where the uh, little side cover actually mounts to uh, with a six millimeter uh, threaded bolt. And we're going to show you number one, it does not damage threads. Um, you might be able to see, you might not. Okay, there's the threads. We're going to show you how it cleans these threads. It does not damage them and how it does not hard pack in holes. As most of you know, if you've ever used glass beading or sandblasting, it will hard pack in blind holes and it will damage threads, uh, particularly on aluminum pieces and parts. Um, what we're doing is we're following the topography of this thread. So imagine the peak in the valley of a thread. We're going to be flowing across the peak and into the valley, and that's where this process excels. Um, you clean every piece, every nook and cranny, so to speak, of a part. You're going to clean the top part of the thread, the bottom part of the thread, and you're not going to damage any part of the thread because, again, we're not hitting that thread with force. We're not propelling dry abrasive at that thread, so it's able to clean every bit of that threaded surface and area. And again, we're not hard packing in that, that thread as well. So you don't have to go back and chase the holes or rethread the holes. Uh, they're perfectly fine after they come out of the machine, after they're rinsed off with fresh water, after they're blown down with compressed air, the part can be sat on the shelf or the workbench for reassembly at a later date. So uh, let's put this part in the machine and uh, see what we can do with it. Okay, we're back with the part. Um, pay attention to the center area here. This is where we focused. We didn't really focus anywhere else in here. Um, that's why it still looks 30 years old. Um, so we wanted to show you how it does not damage a thread. And of course, as you can see here, this thread is still in excellent shape. Uh, we just cleaned every part, even to the very bottom area here of the piece. And you can see how clean and ready for reassembly this, this thread, threaded area here would be. Um, again, we're not damaging the thread. We're not hitting it with brute force. Uh, we're not throwing dry abrasive at it that actually is going to erode away the thread, uh, nor is it going to hard pack in that area at the same time. Um, what you could actually see in the video uh, was the splashing that was occurring from hitting this piece. Um, it's just flushing this area out. Um, so if you ever have a concern uh, with hard pack, uh, it will not happen with a machine like this. 
uh, you're literally flushing out these areas and you can just see the detail uh, within that threaded area there uh, but stay tuned for more we're going to cover a few more frequently asked questions today uh, with this particular part and uh, yeah stay tuned for, for more information